Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna begin my end cap inspection. I'm gonna start off with my seatbelt. My seatbelt is not torn or ripped. It's properly mounted and secure. It buckles and unbuckles properly. Now I suggest you do the same. Okay, I'm gonna move over to my storage compartment. Inside my storage compartment, I have my emergency triangles. I have extra belts, extra hoses, extra fuses. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. They're properly mounted and secure. I have my fire extinguisher. My fire extinguisher is a BC type. It is filled to operating levels with the safety pin. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's properly mounted and secure. Uh, my floorboard. My floorboard is not cracked, bent, or broken. It's properly mounted and secure and free of debris. I have my 10 speed shifter. My 10 speed shifter is not cracked, bent, or broken. It's properly mounted and secure with no leaks. My shifter boot. It has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. It's properly mounted and secure with no leaks. I have my pedals. I have my service. I have my clutch pedal. My clutch pedal is not cracked, bent, or broken. It's properly mounted and secure. I have my service brake. My service brake is not cracked, bent, or broken. It's properly mounted and secure. I have my accelerator pedal. My accelerator pedal is not cracked, bent, or broken. It's properly mounted and secure. I have my steering wheel. My steering wheel is not cracked, bent, or broken. It's properly mounted and secure with no more than two inch of play. I have my city horn. My city horn is loud and clear. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's properly mounted and secure. I have my highway horn. My highway horn is loud and clear. Has no cuts, no freights, no legal tape. It's properly mounted and secure with no leaks. I have my forward mirrors. My forward mirrors are not cracked, bent, or broken. They're properly mounted and secure and adjusted to me, the driver. My mirror supports. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. They're properly mounted and secure. I have my windshield. My windshield is properly mounted and secure. It's not cracked no more than a quarter inch. If so, I will replace my entire windshield. I have my weather strip. My weather strip has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. It's properly mounted and secure. Now, I'm moving to my electrical components. For that, I'm gonna turn my switch on. This tractor is equipped with ABS. I know this because my ABS light turned on and off. Um, now I'm over to my lights. I have my daytimes, I have my low beams, and I have my fog lights. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. They're properly mounted and secure. I have my windows, my windows roll up and down. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. They're properly mounted and secure. I have my left turn signal, my right turn signal. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. They're properly mounted and secure. I have my high beams and my four way lights. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. They're properly mounted and secure. Now I'm over to uh, my air valves. My air valves are not cracked, bent, or broken. They're properly mounted and secure and working properly with no leaks. I have my coupling system. Coupling system is not cracked, bent, or broken. Properly mounted and secure with no leaks. My trailer brake. My trailer brake is not cracked, bent, or broken. Properly mounted and secure with no leaks. I have my radio. My radio is not cracked, bent, or broken. It's properly mounted and secure when working properly. I have my windshield wipers. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. They're properly mounted and secure with a good rubber blade. My windshield wiper reservoir, it's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's properly mounted and secure and filled to operating levels with no leaks. Okay, now I'm going over to my air brakes. Uh, to do so, I'm gonna do a safety start. I'm gonna sure my tractor's in neutral. My air valves are applied. And I'm gonna start my engine. Now I'm gonna do my governor cutout. For my governor cutout, I'm going to uh, uh, raise my RPM no more than 1500. Build maximum pressure at around 125 psi, and my governor should cut out at no more than 140. My needle is tumbling to the right. My system is working properly. Now I'm going to identify my gauges. I have my oil pressure gauge, must be 30 to 60 psi. My water temperature gauge, no more than 200 degrees Fahrenheit. My voltmeter, 12 to 14 volts. My tachometer, no more than 1500 RPM while operating this vehicle. My speedometer, uh, I must obey all speeding laws. 
my fuel gauge, 95% full. I leave room for extra fume expansion. My depth meter, uh, filled to operating levels. My primary and secondary air tank gauge, build maximum pressure between 120 and 140 PSI. Now I'm over to my AC controls. I have my AC, my heater, and my defroster. First, I'm gonna test my AC. My AC is blowing cold air, it's working properly. Now I'm over to my heater. My heater is warming up, it's blowing hot air, it's working properly. Now I'm over to my defroster. My defroster is warming up, blowing hot air, it's working properly. Overall, my AC controls are now cracked, bent, or broken, they're properly mounted and secure with no leaks. Okay, now I'm gonna do my one minute air leak test. For my one minute air leak test, I'm going to put my tractor lower here. I'm going to shut off my engine, release my foot from the clutch, and release both my tractor and trailer brake. I'm going to apply my service brake and I cannot lose no more than 4 psi, 3 for the tractor and 1 for the trailer. Okay, I'm at 100 psi, my minute begins now. So I put a minuto. My minute is now over, I am still at 100 psi, I lost 0 psi. My system is working properly. I'm gonna remove my foot off the service brake now. Okay, now I'm gonna do my low air warning device. For my low air warning device, I'm gonna turn my switch on. I'm going to lose pressure between uh, 75, no less than 55 PSI by stepping on my service brake repeatedly in between. Uh, lighting the buzzer should appear on my dash, indicating that I'm low in air. Okay, at 60 PSI, a light and a buzzer appeared on my dash, indicating that I'm low in air. My system is working properly. I did not go below 55 PSI. Now I'm gonna turn my switch off and I'm gonna do my emergency pop-out test. For my emergency pop-out test, I'm going to lose pressure between 45, no less than 20 PSI by stepping on my service brake repeatedly. In between, my tractor and trailer brake should pop out automatically. At 25 PSI, my tractor and trailer brake popped out automatically. My system is working properly. I did not go below 20 PSI. Okay, now I'm going to do another safety start. I'm going to put my tractor in neutral. Make sure my tractor and trailer brakes are applied. And I'm going to start my engine. Now I'm going to race my RPM no more than 1500, build maximum pressure between 125, between 120 and 140 PSI. Como el fantasma. ¿Qué hace el fantasma ahí? Hombre? Ya no hay cantar, hay que choferear. I have built maximum pressure at around 125 psi. I know this because my needle stopped moving to the right. My system is working properly. Now I'm gonna test my three brake test. I'm gonna test my service brake, my tractor brake, and my trailer brake. First, I'm gonna test my trailer brake. I'm gonna put my tractor in lower gear. I'm gonna release my tractor brake. Make sure my trailer brake is applied. I'm gonna release my foot off the clutch slowly, and we should feel a slight tuck. 
Okay, that slight tuck indicates that my trailer brake is holding properly. Now I'm gonna test my tractor brake. I'm gonna reapply my tractor brake. Release my trailer brake. I'm gonna remove my foot off the clutch slowly. We should feel a slight tuck. Okay, that slight tug indicates that my tractor brake is holding properly. Now, I'm gonna test my service brake. I'm gonna release my tractor brake. Make sure my trailer brake is also released. I'm gonna roll three to five feet forward and come to a complete stop. Okay, we came to a complete stop. Using my service brake, uh, my system is working properly. Now, I'm gonna put my tractor in neutral. We apply both my tractor and trailer brake. Move my foot off the clutch and the service brake. And shut off my engine. That's concluded my airbrake test. I wait for further instructions.